Welcome to B&B Sparring Partners, and I'm with the amazing yogini, Krista Cantillo. Hello. <laughs> Krista is going to take you through her signature Bliss Fit Flow, and I'm so excited to get slow with it. Yay. So, just a little uh, description. Bliss Fit Flow is actually culminating everything I've learned, all different methods into one yoga practice. So, you'll get a little Pilates in it, always a little sculpting, a little stretch, and definitely that feel-good yoga sensation when you're done. Love that. So, Hope you enjoy the flow and uh, get started. Let's do it. So we're gonna face each other, like looking at each other today. We're gonna bring both feet together at the front of your mat. Don't look at my yoga. Uh, don't look at your yoga. <laughs> don't look at my toes either, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we wanna squeeze our legs together as much as we can. So visualize you have a zipper from the ankles all the way up the thighs. For a moment, lift your toes and just close your eyes. Inhale your shoulders up back and just exhale them down from the ears. Keep those toes lifted and inhale, reach up. Like this is your first stretch of the day. Palms connect, reach a little higher. And give yourself two more deep breaths, reaching a little higher, feeling those four points in each foot rooting down. Give yourself another breath, squeeze those legs, reach, 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 reach as high as you can and keep that space. But on the exhale, just drop the shoulders from the ears. Perfect. Inhale through the spine. On your exhale, you're gonna reach to the right, a little side body stretch, toes are lifted, legs are strong, breath is long, and just keep those eyes closed. Inhale, rotate that left shoulder back, and exhale, reach a little further. Take another deep inhale through the nose. Exhaling out the nose. When you're ready, next breath, inhale, reach all the way up even a little higher. Keep that space, exhale, unplug those shoulders. Inhale through the spine. And then take that exhale to the left side, body stretch, toes lifted, nice and easy. Inhale the right shoulder back. Feel the lungs open as you exhale, reach a little further. Give yourself another deep inhale. Exhaling, 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 exhaling. Feeling that flexibility up top as you're grounded at the roots. Inhaling, reaching up even higher. And then on your exhale, release the arms, the chin, and the pinky toe to the big toe down, keeping the eyes closed still. Inhale your shoulders up back. Exhale down and just notice that natural arch in the foot that you have created. When you're ready, on the next breath, we're gonna open our eyes. Inhale, bend the knees, palms face each other. We're in chair pose. So feet are together, squeeze the legs together. Notice if you don't see your toes, shift your weight back. Look up, tuck the tailbone under, come down a little lower, a little lower, and now hands behind the spine. Squeeze your thighs together as much as you can and fold forward. As we fold forward, notice my knees are slightly bent because you want your belly pressing on the thighs. So I'm exhaling, folding forward, squeezing the palms of my hands together a little more, digging into those lats. Let's do one more deep breath here. And now take a deep inhale. We're gonna exhale, release the fingers down. Inhale, you can slide the hands up the shins, flat back, look up. And on the exhale, we're gonna step it back to our first plank position. So hands underneath the shoulders, belly into the spine. You can always bring your knees down to modify, so feel free to bring the knees down or keep the knees up. Crown of the head reaching forward. You're pushing the ground away from you. Energy out those heels, legs are nice and strong. Give yourself one more breath here. Deep inhale through the nose. Long exhale out the nose. And now take a deep inhale to prepare. On your exhale, elbows in, flip the toes, lower down, knees down. Inhale, thighs on, shoulders down, chest up, your first cobra. Perfect, you can look up if that feels right. And on your exhale, we're gonna make it to a child's pose. So toes together, knees wide, all the way down. I just want you to always know that child's pose is always available. You can have the arms to the sides, relax the shoulders, 
or you can extend the arms forward. So kind of move the hips from right to left a little bit. Reach the hands forward a little more as you're scooting back. Have the hands shoulder width apart. So a little wider, like that perfect. Finger spread nice and wide, pointer finger in line with the forearm. We're gonna come on to our spider fingers. So tips of the fingers, we're gonna inhale, chin to the chest. Exhale, chest down, chin down. Inhale, round the spine, chin to the chest. Exhale, chest down, chin down. Two more, inhale, round. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Hands flat, take a deep breath. Exhale, curl your toes under, lift your knees about an inch off the mat. Just like you're about to get into a downward facing dog, your head is hanging loose. Shake a yes, shake a no. Drop the knees a little lower. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So when you're, <laughs> excuse me, your first downward facing dog, <laughs> stay right there. Great form right here. Visualize you're inhaling through the sits bones, you're exhaling the energy down. So if your heels don't touch the mat, again, you can always bend your knees a little bit, create that pelvic tilt as you press the heels down. So perfect, perfect, perfect. And little by little, you press those heels down a little more. You don't have to lie about my form. No, no, no. So you actually have a really great downward facing dog. <laughs> so from here, we're going to inhale, plank position. Come back to your plank. Notice from plank position, we don't move our hands. We don't adjust. It's exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank position. We exhale, downward dog. Next inhale, plank position. We're gonna exhale, elbows in, lower down again, knees up or down. And then you can inhale, thighs on or off, shoulders down, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh, perfect, let's do one more of those. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, elbows in, lower down, nice and easy. Inhale, bring it up, thighs on or off, shoulders down, open the heart, the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent. On our next breath, we're gonna inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees. You can step or hop to the front of the mat. So your choice, you can step it forward, fold forward, micro bend those knees. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. And then inhale, bend the knees, arms come up. Chair pose, perfect. This is so challenging, the chair squeeze pose. Squeeze the thighs it is, right? Oh. Shift your weight back a little more and then squeeze the thighs oh. together even more, you got it. And on the next breath, we're gonna rise all the way up. Palms connect, reach back. That makes me sweat. <laughs> it does. <laughs> exhale, thumb to the heart center, close your eyes. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Perfect. Let's drop our arms to the sides, open the eyes, inhale, shoulders up, back, exhale, down. We're gonna inhale, bend the knees, one breath. Perfect. Exhale, hands behind the spine, fold forward, one exhale. Inhale when you're ready, hands down, lift the heart, look up. We're gonna exhale to the bottom of a push-up. This is all one exhale. You're exhaling, 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 exhaling. Inhale, thighs on or off, shoulders down, deep breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale as you look forward. Exhale, you can step or hop to the front. On your downward dog, are your feet a distance apart? Or yeah, wider? they're about hips width, so kind of like two fists. Two okay. fists, four to six inches. Okay. Good question. Inhale, look up. Okay. Yeah, ask away. I Exhale try. all the way down. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Bend the knees. No, definitely ask good questions because other people will have the same it questions. It knees together here. You want to squeeze as much. The more that you squeeze the thighs together, the more core strength. So okay. even if you're not touching, squeeze as much as you can. Okay. Perfect. And then on the next breath, exhale, hands behind the spine, interlace the fingers, fold it forward. One exhale. And then we're going to inhale back to chair pose, arms up. Oh. Chair pose is killing me. And then we're going <laughs> to exhale, hands behind the spine, fold forward. Two more rounds. Inhale, chair pose, scoop the tail one oh. under, arms up. Exhale, hands behind the spine, <laughs> fold forward. One more round. Inhale, bend the knees, arms come up. 
You got it. Exhale, hands behind the spine, fold forward. They love watching you struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Now they see you sweat. Inhale, bend the knees. We're going to rise all the way up. So from this chair pose, root down, rise up, palms connect, reach back, tuck the tailbone under. <sighs> Exhale, thumbs to the heart center. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Perfect. Arms to the sides. Shoulder roll. Inhale up back. Exhale down. We're going to inhale, bend the knees. Chair pose. No, Kristen, no. One second, one second. And then we're going to exhale, fold forward. On our next breath, we're going to inhale, lift the chest. And then we're going to exhale our left foot back. So we're in a runner's lunge. So from our runner's lunge, Keep the knee and ankle in line. When you come up, try not to move the joints around. Use your muscles, even if it takes a little longer. You can bring the hands to the hips, root down, and come up pressing the ground away from you. Notice the difference. You work all the muscles. Mm, yes. Tuck the tailbone under, square the hips, arms come up. So now we're just in a high lunge right here. We're going to bend, woo and then come up. I'm going to give you another option, cactus arms. You can keep, so you can keep the hands on the hips, Arms up or cactus arms, depends, whatever works with your balance. So from here, we're gonna inhale, straighten, and now exhale down. Perfect. Ooh, like. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Damn you, chair pose, this is way better. Exhale down. <laughs> inhale up, burning already. Exhale down. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, Let's spoke too soon. So for three. This is not easy. Down, <laughs> two, down. One, down, and we hold down. We're gonna mm. pulse. Mm. We're gonna go for I knew five, you were gonna do that. Four, three, two, hold for three, little lower for two, all the way down, flip oh, the toes. Good. Krista. So notice we're on our knees. We wanna be on the thigh. We're gonna slide that leg back. Perfect, just like that. So you wanna be on the thigh. We're gonna inhale our arms up, palms connect, and then exhale those cactus arms again. You're gonna look up to the sky, the ceiling for four deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, tucking the tailbone under, melting down into that left hip flexor. Mm. Deep inhale, you feel that? Oh God, yes. Exhale, the more you draw the belly and tuck the tailbone under, the more you melt down. We'll do two more deep breaths, inhale. It's very foreign to my body. <laughs> exhale, 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 shocking. <laughs> deep inhale. And long exhale, maybe bring those elbows back a little more. You got it. On the next breath, you're going to reach up. Oh. And we exhale, child's pose. Let's come into Thank a little child's God. pose. Yay, <laughs> toes together, knees wide, arms to the sides, palms facing up. Ooh. So stay right there, Krista. Give yourself three breaths. Sounds funny saying my name to you. <laughs> like talking <laughs> I know, to myself. Every time I say your name, I'm like, that sounds so weird. <laughs> Take a deep inhale through the shoulders. And just exhale, relax the shoulders. And then take a deep inhale through the spine. And exhale, kind of sink your weight back down to the heels, melt down a little further, open the hips, exactly. Take one more breath right here. Exhale, 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 exhale. Next breath, reach your arms forward. And then crawl them forward a little more, a little more. We're gonna spread the fingers nice and wide, point your finger line with the forearm, this time keeping our hands flat. Inhale, chin to the chest. Exhale, chest down, chin down. Let's do two more. Inhale, round. Exhale, chest down, chin down. One more spinal articulation. Inhale, round. Exhale, chest down, chin down. Look at the hands. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. So back in that downward dog, maybe you want to bend the right knee, press the left heel down, alternate back and forth, a little rewind. And then when you're ready, press both heels down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step it or hop it to the front. Fold forward, relax the neck. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, all <laughs> the way down. <laughs> and then inhale, bend the knees. Arms come up, but we're going to rise all the way up. Palms connect, reach back, tuck the tailbone under. And then we're going to exhale, bow down forward right away, all the way down, relax the neck. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, we're gonna step the opposite leg back. So your right foot, or at least your opposite. From here, remember, alignment, super important. Ankle and knee. 
Maybe bring the hands to the hips. Maybe you rise all the way up, but try not to move the knee. Come all the way up. And just relax the shoulders. Give yourself one little lunge like this. Down and up. Good. Now you decide where you want your hands. They can be here, here, a little more balance, or here. I'm liking and this let's go. Inhale up. Exhale. So it's like you're working, but you're also stretching. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Keep going. I like Inhale. This yep, I love this one. This exhale. Good. I'm not kind of addicted to this one. Yeah, this Inhale. Awesome. Exhale. Let's do three more. Exhale. Woo. Two. Exhale. And one. We exhale and pause. Let's pulse it. Hell time. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. A little lower. A little lower. And release. Off. Flip the toes. All right. So again, we want to get off the knee. We want to open up our hip flexor, front of our thigh. So we slide that leg back, as far back as you can. Flip the toes. And when you're ready, inhale, rise all the way up. And then exhale, cactus arms again. And just look up, take deep breaths, feel the chest lift. Exhaling, exhaling, exhaling as you melt down to that right hip flexor, tucking the tailbone under. Three more deep breaths. Exhale, perfect, perfect. Two more deep breaths. Exhale, melt down a little deeper. And one more deep inhale. Exhale, bring those elbows back. Come all the way down. When you're ready, inhale, reach up. And we exhale, child's pose. Toes together, knees wide, arms to the sides, palms facing up. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale through the nose. And just exhale, feel those shoulders melt, move the hips from right to left a little bit. And on your next breath, we come back to center. We reach those arms forward, crawl them forward a little more. Fingers nice and wide, one breath, press down with the hands, chin to the chest. And then exhale, chest down, chin down, look at the fingers, take a deep inhale. Exhale, curl the toes under, lift your knees that little inch. Oh, so we do that little pause again. Let the head hang nice and loose. Maybe drop down a little lower. And maybe a little lower. Give yourself one more breath here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go oh. so downward dog. Shake the head yes, yeah. shake the head no. Bend one knee, bend the other, rewind. And as we bend each knee back and forth, we're going to bring ourselves back to those heels. And we're going to inhale, plank position. Exhale, elbows in, lower down. Inhale, bring it up, shoulders down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice full body rewind. Love that. So we've got a couple options here. I always have to throw these in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> options. You can stay in downward dog, just breathe. You can come into child's pose, or you can do, let's do 15 downward dog push-ups. What? So, <laughs> when you're doing these push-ups, we're not leaning over the hands. We're staying in downward dog. Notice, all I do is I inhale, bend the elbows, crown of the head comes down, and I exhale up. You got that? Yes. Okay, perfect. We're going to do 15 beginning now. We inhale down, exhale up. Oh, God. Inhale, exhale. These are hard. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale, but there are a lot less strain on the lower back, so that's a good thing. Oh. Exhale. Let's go for 10. I don't know about my arms, though. <laughs> and you don't have to go all the way down. You right. can go halfway down, too. Oh. Almost there. Seven. Oh. Six. Oh, you can actually count. I can't. Five. <laughs> four. Three. Two, keep the belly in, and one, we hold halfway. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we come way. lower, maybe we come lower, then we exhale oh. downward dog. We oh, inhale, plank position. Oh, yeah. We exhale, lower down, belly oh. in. Inhale, bring it up, shoulders down. Belly's not in. <laughs> exhale, downward <laughs> facing dog. Perfect. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and exhale out the mouth. 
I knew you were gonna throw in some spice into that we one. We are. We're doing <laughs> one more round. And again, it's optional. You choose. You don't have to go all the way down. So let's go for 15 oh. more. Inhale down. Up. Perfect. Bliss fit flow. <laughs> Bliss fit gross right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Keep going. We're almost there. Let's do 10. Nine. Eight. This Krista can actually count. This, this one can. <laughs> Six. Five. Four. Dear God. Three. Help me. Two. Oh, gross. And that last one, hold down for three. Don't want to. Little lower, little lower. Oh. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, oh. plank position. I get it. Elbows up. in. You got it. <laughs> Exhale down. Oh. Inhale up. And we exhale downward dog and walk our hands back to the feet. Oh, God. Bend the knees when you get there and just grab your elbows. So just like this, remember pelvic tilt. You want your belly on the thighs. Relax the neck. Close so do I bend my knees if I can't get my huh? If I can't get my belly to my yeah. You want to bend your knees as much as you can because notice I'll give an example. If you don't, you're working a hump in your back and you're not getting a hamstring stretch. So like this, you get that hamstring stretch and then you actually create more flexibility in the future. Okay. Just relax, take a deep inhale. And long exhale. I'm gonna rock from right to left a little bit, side to side. And then find our way back to center. Release the elbows, walk your hands to your plank position. On that inhale. And exhale, <laughs> lower down. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, downward dog. Oh. We're gonna inhale as we look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step it or hop into the front. Fold forward. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, all the way down. And now we inhale, bend the knees, arms up. And we look forward to this chair pose now. After no, the push no, up, no, right? no, we don't. No, no. <laughs> Tuck the tailbone under, shift the weight back. Look up, so you wanna look up. Come down a little lower. I feel like I'm the worst yoga student no, ever. And inhale, come all the way up. Reach back, tuck the tailbone under. <laughs> exhale, thumb to the heart center. Give yourself a moment, deep inhale. And exhale. So we work hard, but we always release the arms. So we have one more standing pose. We're gonna release the arms to the sides. Inhale, shoulders up, back, and exhale down. So from here, just inhale, bring the arms up. So we're gonna reach up. As we exhale, we're going to fold forward. Relax the neck. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step that left foot back, but bring the left heel down. So you want heel to heel alignment, knee over the ankle. So that's the idea. From here, we're going to inhale, rise up, keep the knee over the ankle, arms come up. We're going to exhale, relax the shoulders, square the hips. Interlace your fingers, keep the tailbone tucked under, take a deep breath. And exhale, arms right in front of the heart. Perfect. Knee over the ankle. Inhale up. Open the chest. Exhale forward. Let's do two more. Inhale up. And exhale. We do one more. Inhale up. And as we exhale forward, we're going to take the next inhale, bring it all the way up. And exhale, hands behind the spine, interlace the fingers. You're going to inhale, knuckles down, look up. And on your exhale, keeping the knee over the ankle, slowly come forward. Allow that shoulder just to come to the inside of the thigh. Ooh, I like that. Shoulders over, yep. Knuckles over the head, relax the neck. Give yourself four breaths, deep inhale. Exhale, pressing those palms together. Three deep breaths, inhale. Keeping that knee over the ankle. Two deep breaths, inhale. Exhaling, 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 exhaling. And one more. Long exhalation. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release both hands down. Lift that left heel, slide the back a little more and just take one breath. Inhale the right arm up. You got it. And now we exhale, bottom of a push-up. All one exhale, elbows in. Inhale, bring it up, shoulders down. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Perfect, next breath, inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step it or hop it to the front. Feet together, fold forward, relax the neck, micro bend those knees. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. We're gonna take one breath, inhale, bend the knees, chair pose, arms up. Come down a little lower. And on your exhale, fold forward. Oh. Inhale as you look halfway up. We're gonna exhale, step your opposite foot back. So now, remember, heel comes down. We want heel to heel alignment. Knee stays over the ankle. However way you can come up, keeping the knee over the ankle, you can bring the hands to the hips as you root down, whatever creates that engagement. Square the hips, tuck the tailbone under, make sure the knee is 90 degrees, and inhale, reach up. Exhale, relax the shoulders, interlace these three fingers, take a deep breath, and exhale forward. Perfect. Inhaling up and back, allow the chest to open. Exhale forward. That calf stretch is so good right? on this. Oh. Inhale up and back, your Achilles, square the Ooh. hips. Exhale forward. We're gonna do two more. Inhaling as you open the chest, but tuck the tailbone under, draw the belly in, exhale forward. And now one more full round. Inhale up and back. Exhale forward. And on the next inhale, we come up. We release, exhale, hands behind the spine. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze the palms together. Inhale, knuckles down, look up. And now slowly exhaling forward. So we bring the shoulder and the entire body to the inside of the thigh. Ooh. Knuckles melt over the head. Relax the neck for four deep breaths. Long exhalation. Deep inhalation. And long exhalation out the nose. Feel those knuckles melting, squeezing those palms together. Legs are nice and strong. Deep breaths. Give yourself one more full breath here. Exhaling, 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 exhaling. Now take a deep inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Lift that right heel. Maybe slide the leg back a little bit. That was hard. Right hand down. <laughs> Inhale, one breath. Reach up. And then exhale, bottom of a push-up. All one exhale, elbows in. Inhale, bring it up, thighs on or off, shoulders down. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Perfect. So this is your last downward facing dog. So whatever you need to do to feel complete here, again, moving the hips from right to left is really nice to release the sacrum. And you can pedal those feet again. If you're feeling like one more little chaturanga, a little yoga flow, let's do one more. Like, Inhale. Please don't do any more downward dog push-ups. <laughs> yeah, no, not those. We'll do one more little full body rewind. <laughs> exhale down. Inhale up, shoulders down. And let's exhale to that real last downward facing dog. <laughs> Inhale as you look forward. She lies at Exhale, me. Exhale, <laughs> the real one, the real one. Bend the knees and step her hot. <laughs> it's the last one, we have 10 more. <laughs> Inhale, look up. I know I'm known for doing that. <laughs> exhale all the way down. Inhale, bend the knees. We rise all the way up to that standing posture. Palms connect, reach back. And exhale, thumbs of the heart center, close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Just feel your heart beating right there at the tips of your thumbs. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more breath on our last standing posture. Deep inhale. And exhale. Let's bring the arms to the sides. Just keep your eyes closed for a moment. Inhale your shoulders up, back, and exhale down. Let's do two more shoulder rolls, inhaling up, back, and exhaling down. One more. And now let's do three going forward. Inhale back, up, exhale forward, let those elbows rise. Two more. One more. Now let's go the other way, inhale up, back, Exhale down, palms facing out. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. 
So we're gonna open our eyes, transition to the mat. Let's bend the knees. Inhale, chair pose. Damn. <laughs> Exhale, hands to the heart. You could also use your hands for support, but we're gonna come all the way down. We're gonna go lower, 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 come all the way down. Let's come into a boat pose. Oh. So, palms up, and you can bend the knees. Again, see how your back feels. Squeeze those legs together. We're gonna stay for four deep breaths. Relax the shoulders. Perfect, three deep breaths, looking at those toes. Every yoga posture has a point to gaze at, your drishti, and here it's your toes. One more full breath. And when you're ready, let's exhale down to the sacrum, but keep the legs and arms up. You're reaching forward, squeezing the leg. You can always modify by bending the knees. Always modify when needed. Reach forward a little more. One more breath. And now let's bring it back up one more time. Oh, Both pose, God, full boat. Modify if needed. Always protect the lower spine. Squeeze those legs if you feel a shake. That's great. Oh, you're shaking. doing it right. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. One more <laughs> breath. Slowly come down to that sacrum. Last one here. Reaching forward, chin to the chest. Three more deep breaths. Reach forward, draw the belly in. Feel the sacrum pressing down, squeezing those legs. Oh, bliss, inhaling and exhaling. Lift through the nose. <laughs> bliss, fit out. And exhale, knees into the belly. Rock from right to left. So before we close out, always got to do a little bit of core. Oh, God. Wasn't that it? Just a little bit. We've got three little, little core sequences. Short and effective. <laughs> We're gonna do one that I know you guys are already very familiar with. Oh no. Heels in, toes out, frogs. Here we go. Interlace those fingers, hands behind the head. Take a deep breath. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders, elbows out. And remember, pretend you have like a grapefruit baseball underneath your chin. You're looking straight up. And then lower your legs. The minute your lower back wants to lift, lift your legs a little higher. So you want to gain that core strength and also protect the lower back. On the next inhale, bring the knees in. Exhale, out the mouth, extend. So Pilates breath, inhale in. Exhale. I had nightmares of these damn things last night. Inhale <laughs> in. <laughs> Exhale. Let's go for five. Four. Three, two, oh. on one, we're gonna hold the knees in, feet together, lift a little higher, you're gonna pulse it up. We're gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Take a deep breath, exhale, extend. And now we're gonna beat the heels together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Crisscross with pointing the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, all the way down. Oh, yeah. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and exhale. So before we get too comfortable, arms to the sides, legs straight up, feet are flat. Oh. So this one, you can put your hands underneath your glutes, or you can place the hands oh. down to the side. Focus on straight up. You don't want to roll back. So straight up, if you press down and you can't come up, you're strengthening your psoas muscle, your lower abdomen, so you're still doing work. We'll do a round of 10. Take a deep inhale, exhale, shh, oh, shh, 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 shh. We go five, four, three, two, and one. Bend those knees, you feel that? Your counting is impeccable. Right? <laughs> Side to side. Now I you would have done 20 and I was like, that's 10. Oh, you feel it right oh, on that, that was lower amazing. abdomen. That strongest was, part of the core. That was amazing. Good. So you're going to enjoy this last amazing oh, one. <laughs> There's Krista. one more amazing one. Legs up, <laughs> feet flexed, hands down at the side. We're going to inhale, lift your head and shoulders. So you're bringing the chin to the chest. Optional. Hands can be down or it can be up about four inches off the mat. Reach a little more. Now we're going to bring our legs down as low as they can go without the lower back uh, pressing. Feet are flexed, and we're just going to go up and down here. Oh. Good. So you're pushing out the heels. You're really digging with those heels. Keep going. Chin to the chest, reaching forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh. and 1. Oh. Now final hug. Those thighs in. 
Give yourself a big hug for an amazing practice. Oh, that was so good. Work a little bit of everything. That last one, I was pretending I was in the base swimming away from you. Oh, I know. Just kidding. That last <laughs> one, I know, right? You're like, I was going to kick those heels to, uh, no, just cooking. <laughs> that was awesome. So from here, the best part of yoga, would you think we should just close out with a little shavasana, right? Sure. And allow them to come back when they want. Love it. I think. So we're just going to extend our legs out. This is like the best part of a yoga practice. So just close fun. your eyes and take it to your own pace. And once I guide you through a little relaxation, you return when you want. Stay as long as you want. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Take a deep inhale through the hips. Exhale, soften the hips. And take a deep inhale through the shoulders. And exhale, soften, release the shoulders. Relax the eyelids and enjoy your deep relaxation. slowly connecting back to your physical bodies. Taking a nice sweet inhale through the nose. And long exhalation out the mouth. Feel the energy running down your arms, tips of your fingers as you begin to wiggle them. Take another deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Feel the energy running down the legs, the tips of your toes as you begin to wiggle them. And then when you're ready, take your next deepest breath as you bring those arms up and back, point those toes, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Feel all that amazing space you cultivate in, not only in your bodies, but in your minds. And on the next exhale, hug this energy into your center, both thighs in, squeeze, rock from right to left. And then keeping the eyes closed however way you want, Come up to a comfortable seated position, nice and easy. Face each other for a moment. Palms facing up, resting on the thighs. Point your finger and thumb may connect as you inhale your shoulders up back. Exhale down from the ears. Tailbone tucks under and the chin slightly tilts down. Back of the neck is nice and relaxed. Give yourself three breaths. your next deepest breath, bring those arms all the way up, reach up nice and tall, allow those palms to connect, and seal your practice and your energy down to the heart center, thumbs resting on the chest, take a deep inhale through the spot, 
Exhale that energy from the heart, those thumbs right to that spot between the eyebrows and feel that connection. And then take a deep inhale through this spot. And exhale, bowing down forward to you. Your practice, your breath, your energy, and your light. And the light in me honors and celebrates the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. And in you guys as well. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed our Bliss Fit Flow. Bliss Fit Help. Just kidding. <laughs> that one was so hard for me. Was it? It was challenging. There, were, when The chair pose, I was like, starting to profusely sweat. And a surprise so though, because you do a lot of squats. Yeah, yeah, it's I funny. Know. Everything you work different parts of your body, and that's the, that's the key is always challenging yourself. Different exercises always so feel challenging. Yeah, yeah. And if it felt awkward, it's okay. Yeah, I felt so awkward and tight in so many. Yoga's gonna feel super awkward when you're not used to it. So the I'm, more awkward you feel, probably the better that you're doing it. If you feel too comfortable, your position's probably <laughs> off. You know, <laughs> like, until you get okay. into it. So feeling awkward, it's perfect. And I, I am bringing more yoga into my life. I have to. I am doing your practices. I am going to do it weekly. Yes. I'm just stating it out loud for everyone and to hear. And me too. I'm doing more of your practices. I'm stating <laughs> it. Like, You're a real. member. Yeah, I know. She's a member. I know. She's, She's amazing. amazing. So comment below and Krista will actually respond to you. And uh, if you want more of Krista in your life, <laughs> If you, if you want to double up I on know, this, no <laughs> more Krista. If you want to double up on this, take a, a check out Krista's website, which is I'm going to put it up above. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. But uh, it's blissfit.life. And she has an online program as well, and you have everything: Pilates, yoga, yeah. breathing, meditation. A lot of different stuff. Yeah. It's just all amazingness. So get some more Kristas in your life. Like, we have enough Kristas. <laughs> you want more of this calm Krista in your life. Thank you. That was amazing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Ah, mermaid. Mermaid. Sunshine. So they come up, right? They come up? Or yeah. should we just let them come up when they want? Right? Oh, um, probably bring them out of it. We should? Okay, yeah. so we'll, call, we'll pause it yeah. and then, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, please don't pause. I think it would be fun to leave this in. Yeah, I know, right? What do we do? Do what we do come we up? Do? That'll be a blooper in the That's end. <laughs> do we come up? Oh, I, yeah, I, think... you, you, I was about to hate you too. Like, what are we <laughs> doing here? a blooper. Oh my god. Oh god. All right. Okay. Did you forget again? No. <laughs> I was just about to go. <laughs> I, was like, I was just giving it a little. <sighs> Chris, are you okay over there? That's the way. Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, I'm quite quite time. Quite time. Let's eat five breaths. 